I want to talk a little bit about Chrome Web Dev, web dev Tools and how they can help mobile web development. So let's say that you're building a website and you've tested it out in the browser, you've tested a bunch of different browsers, different screen resolutions, but you really want to know how it's working out and if the functionality is working properly on your mobile device. So if you're using Chrome, or if you have Chrome, you should be testing your website in Chrome. If you've got an Android phone, you can actually use the Chrome Web Dev Tools to test and see if it's functioning properly on your Android device. So I have a website here. Uh, this is the one that I'm going to be looking at on my mobile device to see if it's working properly. Now, in the menu in Chrome, we can go into More Tools and bring up the Developer Tools. Or you can use the Alt Command I to bring them up for Inspect Element. Or I can right click and go Inspect. Any of those three things is going to do the same thing. It's going to bring up the development menu. Now, I have this section down here. This is the Extra Tools section. I had this open already. I'm going to close this part. And this is what you would typically see when you go into here. Your CSS, your HTML elements. We have our console window and so on. There's another menu right here. If you click on this menu, not the Chrome one, this is the Chrome main menu. This is the menu inside of the Web Dev Tools. If I select this, I can come in here and you can see there's other options. Under More Tools, there is a Remote Devices section. And if I click on that, I get that extra menu that I had before. So the Remote Devices tab inside this secondary menu, we can see in the list right here, here is my device. I actually have an Android device that's connected and I have Chrome open. There's Chrome version 59 open on my Android phone. If I now click inspect, what I'm going to have is a brand new window is going to open up, a brand new Chrome instance is going to open up with the developer tools showing and it's going to show me my device. So here it is. This is blank. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, sorry, that is, yes, this is a blank tab right here. This is the page that I've got open. Sorry, I had a blank tab. So inspect, there we are. Now this is showing on my device. This is what's showing right now. And I can interact with it the way I normally would a web page on my Android device. We can slide through here. This is the touch point right here. If there's links, you can click on those links and they interact. And over here, we have our elements. We have the console. The tab's inactive. That's just my phone going to sleep. There we go. I'll wake it back up. We can look at the HTML elements on the page. We can look at the JavaScript console. So this is a great way to find out if your Android device has issues with the JavaScript that you're using because oftentimes you've got an older version of Chrome or, uh, installed on your device. And if you're using some of the new ES6 features, ES2015 features, there's a chance that there's going to be something that isn't supported on that device. If you've got multiple phones, if you can borrow a friend's phone to test it out, you can see if things are working on their browser as well. So here we have on the Android device, this is what we've got, and you know, same thing I would normally do. The network tab, the performance, the application tab, you want to look and see what is stored in session storage or local storage. Uh, if there's service workers, you can test all of this stuff inside this brand new tab. So back here, there was my normal version of Chrome on my laptop, and over here, this is the device uh, or the version of the site that's on my device. Closing that, um, so you can see there's the device. I've got an empty tab. If you want to create a brand new tab, you can. You can enter any URL here, click open, that will open it on the device. So I have a USB cable connecting my MacBook to my Android device. 
Um, when I plugged it in, I was prompted on the device, you know, are you sure you want to allow debugging on this device? Because I do Android development work, I'm getting that prompt. Um, yeah, so that's remote devices. And just one other small thing to mention, this icon right here says Toggle Device Toolbar. Turning that on or off, you can see what it's doing. I can choose to simulate. So let's say I'm saying iPhone 6. This is what it's going to look like generally on an iPhone 6. Here's the screen resolution. It's up to 100%. So on an iPhone 6, this is how it should be rendering. This is how somebody should see my website. Just general responsive and then you can enter whatever dimensions you want. So if it's 1200 pixels by 2000 pixels, this is what it would look like. All right, so that's the device toggle to let you look at any website you're building in Chrome in a responsive way to see what different screen resolutions are going to do. And also remember about remote devices so you can use USB to connect to your device, see all the tabs that you've got running in Chrome on your Android device, and then test them out that way. Not just the HTML and CSS, but also the JavaScript. All right, thanks for watching.